Hi guys, I'm back again. Uh, not too soon, I hope. Um, a few days ago, I shared some wipe transitions and uh, glitch effects which you can use in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. And today is going to be something a little bit different that I made. Uh, it's like an evaporation effect which you can use with titles or text or pictures, logos or even videos. Although it might be a bit hard on your computer. Um, again, you can download and use it for free for personal or commercial um, projects or whatever you want. Just don't like resell them or something. And the smoke effects, you can change the smoke to any color you want or even just white if you don't want any color at all. So uh, let's go ahead and have a quick look at how to, how to use it really. So first let's have a look at using it with a text or a title. Um, right now I'm in the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, so I'm going to go to the effects library and under the title toolbox, I'm going to drag in the text plus tool. Just drag it into our timeline and make the length of the clip at least about, uh, let's say 10 seconds long because the evaporation effect is going to take place over a period of about uh, 9, 8 or 9 seconds. So if your clip is too short, sometimes it just cut off before all the title kind of evaporates completely. And now just click on our clip and maybe put in something like imaginative, like uh, hello. Change it into some font that is kind of uh, a bit chunkier. So we can gonna, we're can we going to see our um, evaporation kind of clearer, I guess. And maybe I'll increase the size a bit. Okay, so once you're happy with the title, we're just going to go into the Fusion tab. And if you follow the links down below, you're going to be able to download this file. It's only like 11 kilobyte. It's the smoke dissolve dot setting, which is our effects file, basically, uh, or macros as DaVinci Resolve calls it. And you can save it anywhere in your computer and just drag it in to the Fusion window. There you go. And you're going to have like a little kind of effects note, right? And all you have to do is again, just place it between the input and the output. So I'm going to double click to delete the old line there and drag a new line from the input into our effects node and then drag a line from the effects node to the output. Uh, there you go, and you're gonna see our, our title reappear. Now if I play it right now, it's gonna start to render the dissolve or the evaporation effects right now, but we might want to uh, change the color of our smoke first. So I'm gonna click on our effects node and go to inspector. As you can see, there's like a color wheel here where you can change your smoke into any color you want, or even just white if you just put it in the middle, right? So um, maybe we have like a pink smoke for this one, just for the hell of it, and I'm gonna, um, uncheck the transparent background because uh, basically, okay, I'm going to start the render now and I'll speak as the computer is trying to render the effect which is kind of quite a heavy effect so it might take a while. But basically the background is actually transparent so if you want to put this title and the effect uh, on top of a video or some background or anything, you'll be able to do that and the transparency so you'll be able to see through to the back. But right now, I'll just turn off the transparency and just look at the back background so we can see the smoke kind of clearer. And as you can see, as the computer is rendering the effects, um, the, our text or title is starting to evaporate away and then giving off some, some vapor, some purple vapor, I guess. Uh, on second thought, I think that purple, this purple choice was a, a bad idea, but uh, well, what are you going to do? So, um, uh, yeah, so I have to warn you that this effect is kind of uh, heavy on the computer compared to the wipe transition and the uh, glitch effect I've uh, shared before. But, um, well, I, thought, I think the effect looks quite nice, I guess, although I'm obviously biased. And there you go, it's nearly completely gone. So now if you play it, you're going to have the... Uh, dissolve effect. Hmm. Ah, not bad, I might say. Okay, so this is how to use it with a title. But if you want to use it with a, a video, the, um, the procedure is exactly the same. Uh, but if you want to use it with like a picture or a logo, uh, there's uh, some a few extra steps you might have to take. So let's, let's go and have a quick look at that now. Okay, now we're back in the edit tab and I've brought in a logo of an obscure company no one's ever heard of before. Uh, but the problem is, if even if we increase the duration of the clip to like, let's say 11, 10 or even a minute, and we go into the Fusion tab, as you can see, there's only one frame there. Because basically what's happening is uh, Fusion or DaVinci Resolve is just basically freeze framing this one frame to stay on the screen for 13 or 14 seconds or whatever. So what we have to do first is right click and then click on the new compound clip and just name it whatever you want. Maybe logo. There you go. And once we create a new compound clip and we go back into the Fusion tab, now you can see that we have all these frames where we can use to render out our effects now. So again, the procedure is exactly the same. I'm going to drag in the uh, 
the file that you can download below in the description and just put it in between the two uh, input and the output again. So now if I play it, um, okay, I'm going to uncheck the background again so we can see it clearly and maybe this time have a white smoke, a more realistic color and let's play it. Now you might notice that in this uh, inspector tab, apart from the color, there's also an option on the top that says uh, seat. Uh, this is basically to help randomize the patterns of where your logo or your text or your video will start to dissolve and evaporate. Now, if, let's say you have like 10 titles or 11 logos or whatever, and you all use the, the seat rate of zero, um, the pattern of evaporation might all look the same. So that might not be what you want. So you for diff each different titles, you might want to change the seat uh, number to maybe like one is like one, the other one is 30 and then 70. So each one will kind of melt slightly differently. So you have like some variation there. Otherwise, um, it would start looking like, oh, what is this like an exact same template with um, look exactly the same. It might be a bit weird kind of thing. And as you can see, since uh, I put the color picker right in the middle, the smoke that's coming off is kind of, well, basically it's white now, I guess. And we'll just wait a little bit longer for the computer to render out the effects. Um, well, I guess particle effects always takes quite long. So I guess I wouldn't bore you with the rest of the uh, dissolve and we'll just play what, what has already been rendered. And as you can see, our logo is uh, dissolving and giving off some, some smoke, I guess. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> well, and that's all there is to it really. Um, I hope it's useful to someone. And um, I hope maybe I get more chance to do clips in English. Although to be honest, the reason I don't really do clips in English is because there's just so many great tutorials out there already on pretty much every single topic. You know, like uh, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects. There's so many great ones. So that's why I just kind of don't really bother really, there are already great ones out there. But maybe from time to time I'll just do some just for fun, <laughs> just to entertain myself and uh, maybe practice my English. Um, so I guess that's all for today and maybe I'll see you again sometime, hopefully. <laughs> Bye!